Mood boards can make or break a brand project. Most designers fail at actually managing and organizing your images, which results in a messy process. And then you get stressed and overwhelmed. And it also takes hours to create a presentation for your clients when you're doing a brand project. It doesn't have to be this way. It can actually be more simple and easy to create a mood board. And a client doesn't have to have a long document with all this fancy stuff. You can literally just send them one link. And I'm gonna show you how with this great platform called PicFlow. It's an intuitive platform for designers and photographers. So let's go ahead and create a brand mood board for a brand I'm currently working for. It's a business in Sydney. It's a door and blind installation business. So they go to people's houses and install like doors, you know, for new homeowners and stuff like that. And basically they want to rebrand. They just had some landing page with this like lion logo, which looks old. And so they want me to do a whole rebrand. So I've already gone ahead and done a discovery workshop. Now that's the first step before creating a mood board. You wanna have a discovery workshop where I can talk with the client, you know, understand their brand personality, the goals, the user persona and the audience we're trying to attract and just a lot of bunch of key business insights. And so once I've got that, then I can jump into step two, which is researching and mood boarding. So I'll research some of the competitors and I'll screenshot their logos and their images so I can put it into a folder. And then based on the keywords I've extracted from the discovery strategy session, I'll sort of use that to get some images online. Typically my favorite places are Behance and Dribble and Pinterest. Those are the three best sites you can get images because they have so many projects on there. And it's good to just get inspiration from other design projects and branding projects and it's a fast way to do it. And so typically for a mood board, I love to go for one safe option, one fun option, and then one that is a bit more risky or different. And so for this specific project, I've gone for a safe option, a more fun family friendly option, and then one more of a minimal sort of elegant option. And so the key part of a mood board is that I always try and get images that contain these eight things. You want to find logos, so it can be iconic, it could be brush scripts, it can be monograms, whatever type of vibe you're going for. So then I look for brand colors, so I can just copy colors from other projects, other industries, um, or just make it up myself, but I just usually extract them from like images online. Then you want to find some textures. If your brand is more grungy and organic, you want to find sort of like rough brushes, you know, charcoal stuff. Um, it could be grunge overlays, brick textures, like whatever it is. And then next you want to find some typography. So look for fonts, look for, look for type designs, layouts, that type of thing. Then find shape and form. So you can look for printed design, labels, layouts. Um, you can look for packaging labels you can also find architecture and photography. So any type of images as well. So those are all the main things that I try and look for. So I'm on PicFlow and here is the PicFlow gallery section. So you've got your bar on the left where you can select galleries, your team, you can see notifications, you've got storage and also branding that you can change to your branding. I've already gone ahead and created three different ones here. So you can see a packaging project I was working on. You can see I've got this board I've already made here. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make a mood board. So I'm gonna click create on the top right corner and it's gonna go ahead and create a gallery. Now I can name this gallery, so I can just give it a name. So I put my client names and I'll call it brand direction and mood boards. Is I'm just going to click and drag all my images that I have in my folder and I'm gonna drag it right into here. So you can see I've got 24 images, I'm gonna let, let it go and it's gonna instantly just load up those images. So super cool, drag and drop straight from my desktop. And you can see all the assets in the bottom right, it will show it's loading. Another cool thing is that we can actually select a cover as well. So I can click select cover and load something in, or I can just use one of these designs here and drag that in like that. And we can have a quick cover there, as you can see. Or I can just click overlay at the top corner, you, right in the middle, you've got this menu here and I can just maybe make a quick banner like that. I can also click cover size. I can adjust, make it medium, large or small, which is really nice. I like having it small. I can change the focal point as well. So in the image of the back, it's gonna focus sort of in the bottom or at the top. And the text position, I can change that as well. I'm gonna leave it centered for now. I can also click the bin and it will remove the asset. So the cool thing is I can actually adjust how this looks. So on the right side, I've got a contextual bar. So I can upload more images with this upload button or can just drag and drop. But I wanna go to grid options. So click the little grid options and I can change the layout. So we can do sort of a simple two column layout here like this. 
We can change it back to a masonry look where it just fits everything in or I can do a simple grid like this. I can also change the width as well. With just one click, it's super easy. I can go full width. I can also adjust the size of the images. So we can go really small, or really big. And I can adjust the spacing as well, which is super cool. And so I'll typically do something like this with the image size and the spacing. And I think this works really well. Amazing. Now what I can actually do is add a section. So I'm gonna add a section. You can create media, which is more images. You can do a sub gallery, which is basically like a another folder. You can do just text or an embed as well. So I'm gonna click add, I'm gonna click sub gallery. This will allow us to have separate images for separate in separate folders. So for this one, I can click the three dots. I can click preview gallery. I can move stuff, delete it. I'm gonna click inside of this and I'll go mood board. And then I can just drag those images for that first concept. So as we can see there. And then now I can go to the top left and click on the drop down menu which is the gallery structure. And you can see we now have a sub gallery right here. I can also create another one by clicking here, click into that one. And I can go back and click, I click the back arrow, it should go back to the parent gallery. And so now you can see right here, I've got mood board one and mood board two. And so this allows me to present the, all the directions in a separate folder. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and drag these ones in. And obviously I usually go ahead and find more images, but for this project, it was a small business. So I don't have to like find heaps of heaps of images. And then we'll create one more and we'll call it mood board three. It's like family friendly. So now I can go back. I can also click delete. I can read this whole section. And so now I, uh, when the, when you load up this page, I've got this. One other cool thing as well is you can actually add videos into your gallery. So just like an image I can drag and drop an mp4 file into the gallery so you can see here the animation is playing of the packaging design which is super cool you can see the play button right there and it should auto play if you put your mouse over it you can hover over it and it will play i think that's a super cool and uh it's got three dots there so they can download the video can uh, upset as the cover or upload the version whatever i want can change the preview so if i have an image i can update the preview and i can put it even in the cover design as well i think that's amazing and so now all i have to do to send this to my client is go to the top right corner click share i can invite any team member so i can just chuck anyone's email in there which is super cool and they'll get a notification i can go to gallery link or i can actually embed this on my website but i just want to use the gallery link and so i can tick on make link accessible available who can anyone the link can review it or you can set it to view you can also set a password as well and you can actually share it to Twitter, LinkedIn, and a few other places. So I'm gonna click copy. And then now I can actually just go and send it to my client in an email and they can view everything in one go. They can click through the folders, they can leave comments. And it's super, you know, simple and seamless to view the brand directions. So you can see it's got my logo at the bottom as well. And they also got my number there, my email. So now he can go through and look at all the brand directions. So this will be mood board one. Hit click top left, go to the second mood board, and then do, and then look at the third one as well. So that's how easy it is to send to your client. They can review it, and it's just a seamless way to present your, you know, mood boards to your clients. If you do want to try out Pickflow for free, just click the link in the description below. I recommend trying out, but I think it's a great tool for presenting mood boards, managing and organizing your files and images for your photo shoots. And I think it's an all around great tool. Definitely check it out and give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. And if you do want to see me create a brand identity logo, then watch this video here to watch my process for that.